Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Radash of Acacia Animal Clinic in Gurney, Illinois, and I'm going to basically be demonstrating a good thorough physical exam, and the specimen today is going to be my dog Java. We call her Java Chino for short, like Cappuccino, and every patient that comes in, whether it's heartworm testing, pre-physical exams for surgery, radiographs, and even just general vaccines gets a very thorough physical. And what I like to do is to start things in a very basic, broad area. I start with the three sets of lymph nodes, like on humans, under the jaw, right here by the armpit, making sure none of them are enlarged, and back here in the back leg. Once that's done on a routine, I then go and look for jaundice to the whites of the eyes, like the MD does very similar to us every time we go in, and there's no yellowing. Follow that, we look for the pinkness of the gums, checking to see if the dog's anemic is a possible problem. From that, we generally go and check the teeth, making sure there's not a lot of callus buildup on the teeth and tartar. Of course, Java just had her dental last month, so that's not an issue. Then the next step I generally do at this point is we go to both rib cages and cusp our fingers and go on and check both back borders of both kidneys. On a normal sized dog like this, the border should be nice and smooth and get a rough estimate of kidney sizes, which is important. That part is normal, then we go to the liver. And with this part, we go underneath where we just did the kidneys with both hands and check for liver size. Go back a little for spleen size. And one big important factor is way back to check sublumbar lymph nodes enlarged. And those are three very, very important things, even in cats, especially in older age cats. And with Java, because she had her physical a month ago, we know that's fine. The next step we basically go to, because giving the dog or the cat a little time to kind of mellow out to the table, we auscultate the chest with the stethoscope. And now that she's been on the table for a couple minutes and had some time to mellow, we can get a much better listening to make sure there's not a heart murmur or any lung sounds. What do you say, Java? Wasn't that easy? If every day was this easy for you all. Then we go at this point and do a quick little retinal. Just like with humans, we're making sure the retina is proper and not degenerating. The lens and the cornea. And I'll just do this, what I would do for Java. Normally I'd spend about two minutes an eye, but my dog doesn't like to hold still that long. So this can probably be the biggest challenge of doing a thorough physical exam on an animal as far as getting in their face is the eye exam. You're such a good girl. Okay. And then the last step, even with cats, same physical holds true for cats. When they start getting above six, seven, we just do a real quick, soft and hard palate check because certain <laughs> breeds and just domestic shorts hairs are prone to certain type of growths on the hard palate. And knowing Java is clean because I checked that, that pretty much constitutes a nice little mini thorough exam that I do on every patient that walks in here. And what do you say, Java? Do you agree with that?